What if a drone flying over a canyon uncovered secrets hidden for thousands of years? Imagine finding something so shocking that no one was supposed to see it. From ancient ruins to hidden treasures, these flying cameras uncover secrets that change everything we know about history. Number 1. The Hidden Henge In July 2018, something incredible was discovered in Ireland's Boyne Valley. And it wasn't found by digging or years of research, but by a drone flying overhead. Photographer Anthony Murphy was taking pictures near the ancient Newgrange site when he noticed a strange circular pattern in the crops below. This wasn't just any mark in the field, it was a hidden piece of ancient history. What made this find so special was that the pattern couldn't be seen from the ground. It took the bird's eye view from above to reveal the two rings with their evenly spaced segments. This was no random shape but the outline of a long-lost henge, a huge structure built by Neolithic people thousands of years ago. After sharing his photos with experts, it was confirmed a previously unknown henge had been hiding in plain sight, waiting for just the right conditions to show itself. The summer drought played a big part, drying out the crops and exposing the shape of the ancient structure. The moisture in the filled-in holes where the henge once stood kept those crops healthier, making them more noticeable from the sky. This new henge isn't just another part of Ireland's ancient landscape. Its special design could offer fresh clues about the rituals and ceremonies of early people. This discovery shows how technology and nature can come together to unlock secrets from the past, revealing stories that have been buried for thousands of years. Number 2. Drone Uncovers Hidden Farm In 2016, during a drone survey in Italy's Amatrice region aimed at assessing earthquake damage, something unexpected was discovered. An illegal marijuana farm Farm hidden in a rugged area. From the ground, the farm was invisible, but the drone's camera caught clear images of a large cannabis plantation tucked away in a remote spot. This surprising discovery highlighted the power of drone technology. Without the drone's aerial view, finding this hidden crop would have been nearly impossible. After reviewing the footage, Italian authorities were able to locate the farm and seized 182 marijuana plants. What makes this story fascinating is how accidental Accidental it was. The drone wasn't searching for illegal activities, yet it uncovered one. Its ability to quickly survey large areas turned it into a key tool for law enforcement. Once the discovery was confirmed, a team moved in leading to arrests. This incident shows that drones can be used for much more than their original purpose. Whether checking disaster zones or catching illegal activities, drones have become valuable tools in many fields. The discovery of this hidden marijuana farm in Italy is a reminder of how technology can reveal hidden secrets, ensuring justice is served. Number 3. Hidden Figures in Nazca In a major discovery, researchers from Japan's Yamagata University, working with Peruvian archaeologist Jorge Olano, found 168 new geoglyphs in Peru's Nazca region. These new finds add even more mystery to the famous Nazca Lines, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its large ancient designs etched into the desert. The Nazca Lines, created between 100 BCE and 300 CE by the Nazca people, consist of large figures depicting animals, plants, and patterns. They are best viewed from above, where the designs become visible after the dark surface stones are removed to reveal the lighter sand underneath. For years, these mysterious lines have fascinated both researchers and tourists. This recent discovery was made possible by new technology. Drones played a big role in capturing detailed aerial photos that allowed researchers to survey large areas quickly. In addition to drones, artificial intelligence was used to analyze vast numbers of aerial images, helping to identify geoglyphs that might have been missed by the human eye. The new geoglyphs feature various shapes, including human figures, animals like birds, and marine life, and intricate patterns. These additions bring the total to nearly 1,000 straight lines and hundreds of figures already known, providing more insights into the Nazca people, their culture, beliefs, and artistic expressions. Number 4. Uncovering Hohokam Villages The Hohokam people lived in the Sonoran Desert of what is now south-central Arizona between 300 and 1500 CE. They were experts at surviving in a tough environment. One of their most amazing achievements was building large irrigation systems that allowed them to grow crops in the desert. Today, drones are helping archaeologists uncover the secrets of Hohokam villages, showing how they lived 
in one of the most difficult landscapes on Earth. Drones with high-resolution cameras have become essential for studying Hohokam villages. Aerial photography and photogrammetry let archaeologists take hundreds of overlapping images, which are then turned into accurate 3D models and maps of the sites. These virtual models give a clear view of village layouts and features, offering new insights without needing to dig into the ground. Thermal imaging has also been a breakthrough in archaeological research. By flying drones with thermal cameras early in the morning, when the desert is coolest, archaeologists can spot small temperature differences in the landscape. These differences often reveal the presence of buried structures like kivas, religious sites that can't be seen from the surface. This method has uncovered parts of Hohokam culture that were hidden before. LiDAR technology further improves the ability to explore these ancient sites. Using lasers to create detailed topographical maps, LiDAR can reveal buried walls and structures even in areas with thick vegetation where other methods might not work. The combination of drone-based imaging and LiDAR has changed the way Hohokam settlements are studied, allowing for the creation of detailed maps and models that bring these ancient villages to life in ways never possible before. Number 5. The Maya Civilization Uncovered Deep within the dense jungles of Guatemala, an incredible network of ancient cities has been found, revealing the true scale of the powerful Maya civilization. Thanks to recent discoveries using LiDAR technology, researchers have uncovered 417 interconnected cities, changing what we thought we knew about Maya society and its complexity. LiDAR, which stands for light detection and ranging, is an advanced aerial mapping method that can see through even the thickest jungle canopies. By sending out laser pulses and measuring how long they take to return, LiDAR creates detailed 3D maps of the ground below. This technology has allowed scientists to digitally remove the forest cover in images, exposing hidden structures like roads, reservoirs, and pyramids. These newly discovered cities, dating back to around 1000 BC, were connected by a vast network work of superhighways, stretching about 110 miles or 177 kilometers. This discovery challenges the old belief that the Maya civilization was made up of isolated city-states. Instead, it points to a well-organized and connected society with advanced infrastructure, including systems for water management and large-scale farming. The presence of causeways, ball courts, and other public spaces in these cities shows they were more than just places to live. They were also centers for trade, government, and recreation. The complexity of this network reveals the Maya's sophisticated social and political structure and their ability to manage large populations across wide areas. These discoveries offer more than just a look into the past. They highlight the intelligence and strength of the Maya civilization, whose impact continues to fascinate the world today. Number 6. Hidden Roman Roads Imagine roads that were lost for centuries, buried under layers of dirt and history, suddenly coming back to life. This is exactly what happened in England, where archaeologists made an amazing discovery using advanced LiDAR technology. But these aren't just any roads, they're Roman roads, pathways that were once busy with soldiers and traders as they traveled across ancient Britain. LiDAR, which stands for light detection and ranging, is like a secret tool for archaeologists. It works by shooting lasers from above to see through thick forests and reveal the ground underneath in incredible detail. David Ratledge, a retired road engineer with a love for history, used this technology to find an 11-kilometer-long Roman road that had been lost for centuries. This road connected Ribchester to Lancaster and solved a mystery that had puzzled experts for years, and he wasn't alone. Other archaeologists like Hugh Toller and Bryn Gethin have also found several more hidden roads, uncovering parts of the ancient Roman network that once spread across northern England. What's exciting is how these discoveries are changing what we know about Roman Britain. The LiDAR images showed aggers, which are embankments that Roman roads offer had. These features, which you can't see from the ground, give us new clues about how the Romans moved their armies and goods through the wilds of ancient Britain. With over 11 terabytes of LiDAR data still to be studied, who knows what other forgotten roads might be found, revealing more secrets of an empire that shaped history. Number 7. Ancient Atacama Geoglyphs In the vast, dry stretch of the Atacama Desert in northern Chile, there lies an ancient mystery. Over 5,000 
and geoglyphs carved into the earth, invisible unless seen from above. These massive designs, some over a thousand years old, show images of animals and geometric shapes. But what were they for, and why did the people in this harsh land go to such great lengths to create them? Modern drone technology is helping to solve these puzzles. Drones can fly high above the desert, capturing clear, detailed images that help us understand these ancient artworks better. Unlike older methods, which could harm the delicate desert surface, drones give us a view from above, allowing archaeologists to map and study these geoglyphs without ever touching them. The images from the drones show us details and patterns that were once hidden. Some geoglyphs might have been used as markers for trade routes, guiding llama caravans through the desert. Others could have had religious or ceremonial importance, with their meanings now lost over time. But with the help of drones, researchers are slowly uncovering these clues, giving us new insights into the lives of the pre-Hispanic cultures that lived in this barren land. Number 8. Mystery of Fairy Circles Across the dry landscapes of the Namib and Pilbara deserts, strange and almost otherworldly formations cover the ground, perfectly round patches of barren soil, surrounded by rings of green grass. These are the mysterious fairy circles, natural patterns that have puzzled scientists for years. What causes these odd formations? and why do they appear so uniformly across such large, dry areas? The mystery grew even more when researchers started using drones to study the circles from above. Seeing these patterns from the sky showed details that couldn't be fully understood from the ground. By mapping the circles over wide areas, scientists have been able to test different ideas about how they form. One popular theory is that sand termites might be the cause. These tiny insects eat the roots of plants creating the bare patches. The surrounding grass then grows better because moisture and nutrients are more concentrated there. But that's not the only idea. Another theory suggests that the circles form because of how grasses compete for the little water available in the desert soil. As some plants grow stronger, others die off, leaving the rings behind. Recent research hints that it might be a mix of both explanations, termites and plant competition working together to create these mysterious patterns. As drone technology gets better, we might be closer than ever to solving the mystery of the fairy circles, uncovering how life manages to survive in some of the toughest places on Earth. Number 9. The Amaru Muru Portal In the heart of Peru, within the Hayu Marca mountain range near the mystical Lake Titicaca, there's a stone structure surrounded by legend and mystery, the Amaru Muru Portal, also known as the Gate of the Gods. This mysterious site became known to the world in 1996 when a local guide named Jose Luis Delgado Mamani discovered it while exploring the rugged area. The portal is an impressive sight, standing seven meters tall and just as wide, carved directly into the rock. The design is so precise that it almost looks modern, with perfect symmetry and a smooth finish. But what's interesting is that there are no historical records to explain its purpose. Was it a ceremonial doorway, a sacred place for ancient rituals, or, as local legends suggest, was it an interdimensional gateway used by the Incan priest Amaru Muru to escape with a sacred artifact, the Golden Sun Disk, during the Spanish conquest. Modern technology, especially drone exploration, has given us a new way to look at the Amaru Muru portal. Drones have captured amazing aerial views of the site, showing its isolation and how it fits into the surrounding landscape. These high-resolution images and 3D models have allowed researchers to study the portal more closely, but the mystery only grows deeper. The location, the craftsmanship, and the stories that have been passed down continue to spark debate and wonder. Could this ancient stone archway be a gateway to another world? Number 10. Maijishan's Sacred Grottoes Carved into the steep cliffs of Gansu Province, China, the Maijishan Grottoes are a stunning example of ancient Buddhist art and culture. These amazing cave temples, located along the old Silk Road, hold over 7,000 statues and countless murals. Each piece tells a story of faith, 
culture, and the exchange of ideas that happened along this historic trade route. The Maijishan grottos date back to the 5th century and are more than just a religious site. They're a symbol of human creativity and determination. There are 194 caves in total, carved right into the steep cliff face, with some accessible only by dangerous wooden walkways. Just the way these caves were built is impressive, but the real beauty lies inside. Intricate statues and murals have survived for centuries, showing how Buddhist art developed in China. But keeping this ancient site in good condition is not easy. That's where drone technology comes in. Drones have changed the way we care for and study historical places like Maijishan. They can reach areas that are almost impossible to access on foot, taking high-quality pictures and gathering data that are essential for conservation. These flying tools help researchers check the condition of the grottos, understand the effects of tourism, and even create detailed 3D models of the site. Number 11. Australia's Pink Lakes Imagine looking at a lake so brightly pink that it feels like you've stepped into a fantasy world. In Australia, Australia, this is a reality. The country has several striking pink lakes, with Lake Hillier on Middle Island being the most famous. But what makes these lakes turn such an unreal shade of pink? The answer is a unique mix of natural factors. The main cause is Dunaliella salina, a type of microalgae that thrives in the very salty conditions of these lakes. This algae produces a red pigment called beta-carotene, which combines with the salt water to turn the lake bright pink. But that's not the whole story. Halobacteria, another kind of salt-loving microorganism, also adds to the color. These bacteria, which contain red pigments, live happily in the salty environment, adding to the lake's rosy hue. Then there are the brine shrimp, tiny creatures that feed on the algae and take on a pinkish color themselves. Just like how flamingos get their pink color from their diet, these shrimp add another layer to the lake's vibrant look. The result is a natural wonder that seems too amazing to be real. Whether you see them from the air or up close, Australia's pink lakes are a beautiful reminder of how surprising and delightful nature can be. Each lake is a living, breathing ecosystem, colored by the unique balance of its inhabitants. As scientists continue to study these lakes, they not only offer insights into the wonders of microbiology, but also remind us of the hidden beauty in the world around us. Number 12. Amazon's Hidden Tribes Deep within the vast and dense Amazon rainforest in Brazil, a world untouched by modern civilization still exists. This region is home to the largest number of uncontacted tribes on Earth, with about 100 isolated groups living in complete seclusion. These tribes have chosen to stay disconnected from the outside world, often because of traumatic encounters with outsiders that brought violence and disease. In 2008, during aerial surveys over the remote Envira region on the Brazil-Peru border, anthropologists caught a rare glimpse of one such tribe. From the air, they saw tribe members, their bodies painted in bright colors, armed with bows and arrows, living a life rooted in hunting and gathering. These sightings provided clear proof of their existence, silencing doubts and highlighting the need to protect these communities. But the survival of these tribes is constantly at risk. Illegal logging, expanding cattle ranches, and diseases brought by outsiders have drastically reduced their populations. For example, the man of the hole, the last known survivor of his tribe, lives in total isolation, avoiding all contact with the outside world. Organizations like FUNAI have led efforts to protect these tribes by establishing protected territories. However, these areas are under growing pressure from agriculture and deforestation. The continued existence of these tribes not only holds deep cultural significance, but also raises important questions about their right to remain uncontacted in a world that is rapidly changing. Number 13. The Ancient Pyramid of Java In the lush, volcanic highlands of West Java, Indonesia, an ancient mystery has slowly been revealing itself. Gunung Padang, a site that some believe could be the world's oldest pyramid. Known as the Mountain of Enlightenment, Gunung Padang is a sprawling, megalithic structure made of terraces built from large stones, sitting atop an extinct volcano. The modern discovery of this site dates back to the late 19th century, when Dutch settlers documented its existence. However, local communities 
have revered it as a sacred site for centuries. Recent research, led by geologist Danny Hillman, Nata Wijaja, suggests that Gunung Padang is not only a man-made structure, but could be older than even the Egyptian pyramids. Using advanced techniques like seismic tomography and ground-penetrating radar, the research team has found evidence of layers of construction, with the oldest layers dating back as far as 25,000 years. This suggests that sophisticated building techniques were in use during the last ice age, challenging what we know about the timeline of human civilization. Number 14. The Human-Shaped Town of Sicily High in the hills of Sicily, Italy, there's a town called Centuripi, with a history as rich as its unique human-shaped layout. Centuripi was founded in the 8th century BCE by the Sicels, an indigenous tribe, and has been influenced by many civilizations over the centuries, including the Greeks, Romans, and Byzantines. Its location made it a wealthy city during Roman times, known for its special pottery called Centuripe ware. What makes Centuripe truly stand out is its shape. It looks like a human figure. This fascinating shape is the result of natural erosion and centuries of building and development. When seen from the air, the layout of Centuripe, with its narrow streets, terraced buildings, and ancient ruins, forms a silhouette that remarkably resembles a person. The town is full of archaeological treasures, including the remains of Roman baths, a theater, and other ancient structures. Centuripe also has a regional archaeological museum that holds important artifacts, such as ancient sculptures and pottery, which tell the story of the town's long and interesting history. Today, Centuripe is a small town with around 5,000 residents. However, its unusual shape and rich history have earned it the nickname the town that looks like a human, making it a must-see for those interested in the blend of nature and history. Number 15. China's Fake Waterfall In Henan Province, China, the Yuntai Mountain Waterfall has been famous as the country's tallest, standing at an impressive 1030 feet. But recently, this natural wonder has faced questions after a hiker revealed that part of its majestic flow is maintained by a hidden pipe. The truth came out through a viral video on Douyin, China's TikTok, showing a concrete pipe pouring water from the top of the waterfall. Park officials admitted to installing the pipe to ensure the waterfall stays a beautiful sight during the dry season so that tourists aren't disappointed when they visit. This revelation sparked a big debate on social media. Some people criticized it, saying it was wrong to fake natural beauty just to attract tourists. Others defended the decision, arguing that it was necessary to keep the waterfall looking impressive for visitors. This incident raises important questions about how much we should alter natural attractions and whether it's right to enhance them for the sake of tourism. While Yuntai Falls is still a breathtaking sight, this controversy has made people think twice about its natural charm, leading to discussions about finding the right balance between preserving nature and catering to tourism. Number 16. Searching for Noah's Ark Near Mount Ararat in Turkey, archaeologists are studying a place called the Durupinar site. Some believe this could be the remains of Noah's Ark from the Bible. This site is in Agri province, close to the Iran-Turkey border, and has caught the interest of explorers and researchers since the 1950s. A team of Turkish and American researchers, known as the Mount Ararat and Noah's Ark research team, has been working at the site since 2021. They've found materials from around the Chalcolithic period, which fits with the timeline of the biblical flood. The formation itself is about 538 feet long and has a shape that some think looks like a large boat. Although the evidence is interesting, there's still no clear proof that this is Noah's Ark. The rock and soil samples include marine materials, which suggest an ancient seafaring culture might have been here, but the true nature of the site remains a mystery. For now, the Durupinar Formation continues to be a symbol of humanity's search for the truth behind our oldest legends. Number 17. Ancient Tracks in Time Imagine hiking through the Grand Canyon and stumbling upon something that hasn't been seen in millions of years. In 2016, that's exactly what happened to Norwegian geologist Alan Krill. A cliff had collapsed, revealing a boulder with ancient footprints, the oldest tracks of animals with backbones ever found in the Grand Canyon. 
These footprints, dating back about 313 million years, give a rare glimpse into the very distant past, showing how a creature once walked on Earth. The tracks show a side-to-side -side walking pattern, where the legs on one side of the animal moved together, then the legs on the other side did the same. This is the same slow walking pattern used by animals like dogs and cats today. Even more interesting is that these tracks are the earliest proof of animals walking on dunes giving clues about how these ancient creatures lived and moved. The boulder with these tracks came from the Manakacha Formation, a layer of sandstone that's about 314 million years old. By studying where the boulder was found and the surrounding rocks, scientists could date the tracks accurately. This discovery not only helps us learn more about the early evolution of animals, with backbones, but also shows that the Grand Canyon is a place where discoveries are always waiting to be made. Number 18. The Great Unconformity Deep within the Grand Canyon lies a huge geological mystery that has puzzled scientists for over a hundred years. The Great Unconformity. This is a big gap in the Earth's history, about 1.2 billion years long, where there are no rocks to tell the story of what happened. It's found at the line between the very old Vishnu basement rock rocks and the much younger Tapit sandstone, revealing a tale of erosion, shifting land, and the powerful forces that have shaped our planet. The Vishnu Schist, which forms the base of the canyon, is some of the oldest rock on Earth, dating back to the early Proterozoic era. On top of it sits the Tapit sandstone, which formed much later in the early Cambrian period. But what happened in between those times? Why is there no rock left to show the events of those missing 1.2 billion years? Geologists think the answer is found in a time of massive erosion, possibly linked to when the supercontinent Rodinia broke apart. This erosion removed huge amounts of rock, wiping out the record of what happened during that time. Some experts even think that global ice ages like Snowball Earth might have played a role in this dramatic loss. The Great Unconformity isn't just something found in the Grand Canyon. It appears in rock formations all over the world. In the Grand Canyon, it can be seen clearly at Blacktail Canyon, where the difference between the vertical Vishnu Schist and the horizontal Tapit Sandstone is striking. This site is a powerful reminder of the incredible forces that have shaped our planet, leaving behind clues that we are still working to fully understand. Number 19. Fossils of Ancient Seas The Grand Canyon is more than just a breathtaking landscape. It's a time capsule, preserving a fossil record that spans over a billion years. Among its treasures are ancient marine fossils that tell the story of an era when the canyon was submerged beneath vast seas. Imagine walking along the canyon's edge and realizing that the ground beneath your feet was once teeming with life, from trilobites to corals. These fossils offer a glimpse into a world long gone. The fossil record in the Grand Canyon is incredibly diverse. The oldest rocks, dating back two billion years, contain some of the earliest forms of life on Earth. Marine fossils like trilobites, which thrived between 525 and 505 million years ago, are common in the Tapit sandstone. These ancient creatures, along with brachiopods, corals, and crinoids, flourished in the warm, shallow seas that once covered the region. As the environment changed over millions of years, so did the life forms that left their mark on the canyon. Plant fossils, such as seed ferns and horsetails, appear in layers that indicate a shift from marine to terrestrial ecosystems around 280 million years ago. The Coconino Sandstone, famous for its well-preserved reptile and insect tracks, marks another significant transition from sea to land. The Grand Canyon's fossils are not just ancient relics, they are keys to understanding the evolution of life on Earth. They provide a continuous record of how species adapted to changing environments over millennia. Today, these fossils are carefully preserved, allowing scientists to study them in their original context. Visitors to the Grand Canyon can witness this rich history firsthand, gaining a deeper appreciation for the dynamic processes that have shaped our planet. Number 20. 
Dinosaur Footprints in Stone Imagine discovering the footprints of creatures that roamed the Earth millions of years ago, perfectly preserved in stone. This is exactly what happened in Glen Canyon, where dinosaur tracks have been found embedded in the sandstone formations. These tracks, dating back to the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, provide a fascinating glimpse into the lives of the dinosaurs that once ruled this region. First documented around 2008, the tracks in Glen Canyon include imprints from both theropods, the large carnivorous dinosaurs, and sauropods, known for their massive size and long necks. What makes these tracks even more extraordinary is the presence of skin impressions, offering rare insights into the anatomy and movement of these ancient giants. The Wingate Sandstone, Kayenta Formation, and Navajo Sandstone are the primary geological layers where these tracks have been preserved. The landscape of Glen Canyon has undergone dramatic changes over millions of years transitioning from a lush, subtropical environment to the arid desert we see today. These geological shifts have not only preserved the tracks, but have also created the illusion that the dinosaurs were walking up vertical surfaces, adding an eerie sense of mystery to the site. Ongoing research in Glen Canyon aims to map these tracks in detail, helping paleontologists better understand the diversity and behavior of the dinosaurs that once roamed this area. For visitors, the chance to see these tracks at locations like the Carl Hayden Visitor Center and Navajo Bridge Interpretive Center offers a unique connection to the distant past, where the footsteps of dinosaurs are frozen in time. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest discoveries. If these hidden secrets caught your attention, imagine what else is out there waiting to be uncovered. Drop a comment below to let us know which discovery fascinated you the most and share this video with friends who love a good mystery. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video where we uncover even more chilling secrets from around the world.